No, no. I think at home, if you ask my close friends, then then I would be dressed casually, either in a track bottom or a shorts. I'm a sportsman, you know. So I have to be like a sportsman and a singlet or something like that. If if people are coming to meet me, then normally a linen shirt and jeans or something like that. But it's it's all about you know what I feel comfortable with and what my heart tells me. To me, you know, people keep talking about fashion. Fashion is not for others to look and appreciate and not feel comfortable yourself. I think fashion is all about what you feel from within, whether you are satisfied with what you have on your body or not. To me, good clothing is, is an extension of your body. You know, it should, clothing should fit you like a glove. And as long as I'm comfortable in that, then it really doesn't matter. But, but mainly uh, track bottom and shorts, whatever it is. You know, you have your lovely and fashionable wife sitting in the audience. I should have asked her this question. How fashionable is Sachin at home? But uh, she's sitting in the audience and you're sitting here. So my next question to you is, are you a blue sea kind of person or a blue sky kind of person? In the sense, do you like uh, a holiday you know, by the beach or do you like a holiday up in the mountains? There are not many holidays in my life, first of all. Uh, but as and when I get opportunity, then, then I like to be in the mountains. I think it's, it's really nice. Uh, people must have seen few photographs. I spend a lot of time in Missouri. As and when I get off time, then, you know, it's nice. The weather is good. And also, on a lighter note, I like, you know, being in the shade, nice, cool weather. I liked being the sun if I was scoring grants. Otherwise, I didn't like being the sun. But, you know, up in the mountains was really nice. You know, it's, it's quite chilled out. And a quality time with my family. You know, that, that is something which I really, really treasure and value. And the kind of privacy also I get there makes a lot of difference to me when I, when I want to go there and unwind completely and relax for three, four days. It helps. You have an extremely busy schedule even now. Do you, do you get any more holidays in at this, at this point? Well, now? I mean, when, <laughs> when I was playing cricket, you know, even if you, even if you got a holiday or a break for some time, your subconscious mind was not able to switch off. You're constantly thinking about the next series or what went wrong in the last series, and wanting to get better. So it was difficult to switch off then, but now I can, I can manage that. So in the lead up to this event, you said what your true blue moment was in your life, and that was the World Cup win. Uh, the country went crazy when they were celebrating the World Cup win. We'd like to know how the Tendulkars celebrated. So did, so did we. The, 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 the Cricket World Cup win privately. Well, there was no such thing as private then because the whole hotel floor was uh, only the, the team members were staying on that floor. No one else was allowed. So all the room doors were open. There was loud music going on. And God knows how many bottles of champagnes were opened that evening. Uh, everyone was dancing. Uh, though I'm not good at dancing, I made an effort to dance with a flower in my ear. My wife was also there. But that was, uh, that was one occasion where the entire country was celebrating. The, 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 the entire cricket fraternity who backed Indian cricket wholeheartedly was celebrating, which was a big moment. I, I still remember my wife was trying to get inside the stadium and the guys were jumping on top of the cars and they were dancing. But the moment they spotted her, they said, Are, ye, ye gaadi ke piche, ye gaadi ke nahi jate. Ye gaadi ko jane do. But the moment she was dropped inside the dressing room and the car went out, guys climbed on top of the roof and they started dancing. And as I call it, those are happy dents to have, you know, because they left some unbelievable memories. And then something like World Cup, it doesn't happen every weekend in your life. You know, I had to wait for 22 years, which is a long wait, but it was worth it. And, and not just for me, but I'm sure all of you. And you had everything to do with that World Cup win. Okay, um, now this one's going to be a little bit of a tough one. 
And since this is about true blue, my question is this. Tell me a moment, tell us a moment, where you were left blue in the face with embarrassment. Number of occasions. Uh, but the first one I remember, when I was a kid, I was so-called, you know, the, the main batsman of our team, junior team. I used to play with a rubber ball. And then uh, suddenly I joined a summer camp when I was only 11. And I went out to bat. This was my first cricket match with the season ball. And my building friends had come to watch me. They were cheering for me. There was a bit of attention, so I was, you know, feeling good about myself. And I walk out to bat, I get bowled first ball. I can never forget that walk back to the dressing room. You know, there was a small tent, and my friends were just standing next to that tent and not knowing whether to clap or to, you know, sort of come and console. I had to make up excuses. First ball, zero, kuch to excuses banane the. I went and I told them that ball low, rahe gaya, isli hai uthane, to normally I know how to batting. Karta Next match again, you know, I go out, friends again turn up. This time I better my performance. I play one ball, and the other ball is zero, I was bold. So I come back again, at least the third time I scored a single. So that day, I didn't tell anyone, but in my mind, my caller was that at least one run was made today. But those kind of uh, moments, stay with you but but to me it is not about how the journey starts how you finish your journey is what matters and i thought uh, it was a fa fairly and decent it's the journey, journey itself also connected with cricket that's how much cricket means to you okay um tell us the name uh, of a teammate of yours who would deserve a true blue hamper from you for something that he's done, achieved, something memorable. Which of your friends would you send a true blue? I'm sure you'd send, send a hamper to all of them, but who do you think deserves the true blue hamper the most? There are many funny guys in the dressing room who keep all the players entertained. You know, I think uh, Harbhajan is without any doubt one of them. Uh, Zahir Khan, Yuvraj Singh, Virat, uh, Ro Rohit is a thoda serious with me. There is a bit of age difference, but you know, these guys are the ones who, and you obviously see Naujot Sidhu on television, but Naujot Sidhu was also like that in the dressing room or when I went to his room, he was really, really funny. So those guys are the ones, and then Sehwag is, jaise uski batting thi, waise hi personality bhi hai. Waise uska gana bhi hai, bohat acha gata bhi hai. Bilkul. Things like a dream. Chahe wo batting karta ho ya hotel room mein betha ho. He's, he's one guy who's, who's really, really special. I think all in all, these guys are the ones who've, who've created that atmosphere in the dressing room. You need guys to pep you up. It cannot be serious planning all the time. There are tense moments and that time you need someone who comes there and cracks a joke. And these guys are the ones for sure. Thank you, Sachin, for being so honest and open. It was a lovely, refreshing, non-crickety chat with you. Thank you so much. A big round of applause for the true blue legend. Thank you. Thank you. The true blue all-rounder, the true blue man himself, Sachin Tendulkar. from the media for all your support as always a big thank you to all of you you've been a fantastic crowd Sachin might take some more selfies <laughs>